Well, Professor Mohamed Morandi uh, from the University of Tehran uh, joins us uh, now. Thank you very much for being with us, Professor. I just wonder, first of all, what has Iran achieved by this attack on Israel? Uh, very few of the missiles got through. It, in effect, failed. Many people are calling it a humiliation for Iran. I think that's a lot of wishful thinking on behalf of you and your colleagues at Sky News. It was a massive blow to the Israeli regime. And the history of this conflict doesn't go back to last year. It is 76 years of ethno supremacism, ethnic cleansing, and uh, this is a racist regime that you support. You, what the problem is, is that you cannot recognize that the difference between you and us is that you support racism and racial hierarchy, and we reject it. And the Israeli regime, if they dare strike back at Iran, right. We will hit them much harder next time. We will beat them into submission. Well, they, they, well, they will strike back, won't they? Um, no sovereign country can put up with having 180 ballistic missiles fired at them. So they will hit back. They will hit hard. And they could well hit your nuclear facilities, your oil production installations. They could cause Iran serious damage. Listen, instead of the rhetoric, be real, because you're misleading your own people. Iran has countless underground missile sites with hundreds of thousands of missiles across the country. They were made after the U.S. invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan to deal with a potential war with the United States. So this puny regime, it is not a state, it is a colony. It is, a, it is a racist, ethno-supremacist colony, colony which the people call themselves the chosen people. Unlike you, we do not believe in chosen people. And the Palestinian people on that land who've been displaced and pushed into Gaza and who've been slaughtered regularly over 76 years, we will not stand for that. All people in the whole of Palestine must be equal. The Israeli regime, if they strike Iran, we will hit them much harder next time. And they can pretend that they got away, but we hit them very hard last night. We hit their bases. And unlike the Israeli regime, which constantly carries out slaughter and genocide and is carrying out a holocaust in Gaza, we struck their military targets. Because unlike you, but we actually care about human rights, not you. Professor, Professor, let me just say that we're on the verge of, a, of an all-out war, or certainly a war between Israel and Iran. It could be a war that Iran loses. If Iran does lose that war, do you think that the current Iranian regime could survive a defeat? Because that is what, if what you say is right, and Iran is going to hit back even harder, that could be where this all ends up. Iran will not hit back harder. Iran will hit back much harder. The head of the Iranian forces says Iran will destroy, target, and destroy all of the Israeli regime's infrastructure. This was the tip of the iceberg. Iran will lose no war. The Israeli regime will. It is time for you and others to end your racism and to end your support for the superior race and to accept that all people in Palestine have equal, equal rights and the Palestinian people have a right of return. return. Jews, Christians, and Muslims are equal. Unlike what you say, they are equal. And we will accept nothing less than that. The regime must go and he, all people must be treated equally. Right. And if the only thing, right. there's no right. doubt that Israel will lose, but the only variable here is the United States. If the United States gets involved, have no doubt, the U.S. the U.S. will be swept out of Iraq by the Iraqi resistance, and all its assets in the Persian Gulf will be destroyed. All, right. Professor, all those regimes all right. that have U.S. bases will be destroyed, and the oil and gas markets will cause a situation where the global economy will collapse and millions of people will be on the move. So be careful about making stupid mistakes, and the West should stop with its arrogance and get real for once. Okay, Professor, um, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.